with the Bogalusa strut. Before we get to some of our Mother's Day dedications, I do want to tell you that uh, we're doing something uh, uh, very special. This is our fourth Sunday, um, and we are actually visible on the, uh, the Facebook Live page of probably our favorite listening room in the city, and that is Snug Harbor. And all of our small music venues, all of our small businesses related to uh, you know live music infrastructure are, are uh, really kind of going to be struggling for a little bit. And what Snug Harbor has been doing since the passing of the great Ellis Marsalis is uh, a 
keeping those Friday nights going that we all used to love so much and keeping them going by hosting streaming concerts and we want to help them with that streaming infrastructure so they can keep doing that and stay connected to everybody and so this uh, special concert that we're doing for this Sunday we're actually um, using uh, the NOJC, the New Orleans Jazz Centennial, uh, to help us. Uh, we're, you can do, uh, find them on Venmo and PayPal, and uh, we are going to actually be sharing proceeds with them today so that we can actually make sure that when we get on the other side of this, that Snug Harbor is still there providing the level of quality live music in New Orleans that you've come to expect from them. So I want to let you know about that. Uh, let's continue with a Mother's Day song by the great Sidney Bechet. This is sort of a little bluesy version of Si Tu Vois Ma Mère.
Thank you, Sidney Bechet, C2 Voma Mayor. For those of you just uh, happening upon our scene here, uh, we want you to note that on the sidewalks and on the, uh, the, um, the parking areas of the streets, we have marked out in 10-foot uh, spaces uh, for you. And our sidewalk chalkers, where are you? Please, please make yourselves known to us. Where's Anne and Eve and Edie and Lindsay and Dawson? Thank you so much for marking off these spots so everybody would know exactly where they can be. Um, Phoebe, too. Phoebe, too. And um, so uh, David and I um, have been enjoying these Sundays, but I'll tell you what, it feels really good to actually be in front of real people. <laughs> It's been about, um, let's see, our last job together in front of people was March 13th. And uh, I know we're not alone. And our last, my last legitimate concert was, I think, around February 13th. I had a few gigs in between, but February 13th, I was at the Botanical Gardens in City Park with Don Vappi. And that was, that was that's how long it's been. So um, we want you to do your best uh, under these circumstances to find ways to support the local musicians. A lot of them have been very resourceful, and are, you can find them on their social media channels using all sorts of means of transmission to get music out there to you. So do your best to support them and try to, try to figure out a way to engage, in, engage that. Uh, and then, of course, um, Snug Harbor has been doing their uh, Friday E-Day live series and using um, basically uh, different uh, musicians have been hosting live streams, all in tribute of the great Ellis Marsalis, who we lost a bit at the beginning of, of April. So we want to thank our team, uh, our team from Snug Harbor, uh, uh, Jason and Jocelyn and everybody for, um, for keeping things going. Um, Nick Omis, thank you so much for, uh, for being dedicated to making sure that, uh, that, that you know, Snug Harbor comes out of this uh, and... Uh, with the keeping the reputation that uh, that we want and keeping the musicians um, keep keeping it, making it possible for the musicians to keep delivering quality music. All right, we'll get there. We'll all get there. That's right. That's right. Oh, at this time, at this time, I'd like to pick things up a little bit. Dave and I gonna uh, swing out on a little something here by the great Duke Ellington. Uh, we're gonna do a tune for you here called Mood. Indigo. I changed my mind. We're going to do it. It don't mean a thing if they ain't got that swing. Thank you. 
have uh, some dedications, and uh, we want to say uh, we have a friend in our, 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 ours in D.C. We want to say Happy Mother's Day to uh, Cecilia Calvo, and uh, from Aiden, Eli, and James. Uh, we got a couple of requests. But we're going to get to them in a minute, but um, we want to do um, we want to do something for the grandmothers. I'm going to let David Torkinowski tell you about it. Sure is great to see everybody out here today. Beautiful day. Um, <clears throat> Elaine, I don't know if you ever met my grandmother. Okay, all right. Well, my grandmother was born in the area of Spain that Don Quixote was written about, and um, near Toledo, Toledo, Spain. And um, she was... Um, kind of very instrumental in raising me and she meant a lot to me and I wrote this song for her and it's named after her it's called Patrocinio which is a little unusual because mostly in in Spanish culture female names end in A but uh, her name was Patrocinio and this was written for her
David. Composition by David Torkinowski there. Papa Luciano, dedicated to all the grandmothers on Mother's Day. Was that moving? Oh, no, she thinks she's still sleeping in the car. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's a good idea. Councilwoman Moreno, are you impressed by how well everybody's following the social distancing protocols? Thumbs up. Thumbs up over there. Would you like to come say anything to anybody? Wish everybody a happy Mother's Day? We'd love, to, we'd love for you to, you know, we, here's the deal. Here's what happens. We've got, so David and I have followings all over, uh, you know, we have, uh, all the musicians have people that have been watching from all over the world. The musicians that have been doing the live streams, uh, everybody's got New Orleans on their mind, and the musicians have done a really good job about trying to reassure everybody that, you know, we're hanging in there and that the music scene's going to be cool. And, um, but I thought since we have the opportunity, we have our, our, a bona fide council woman here who's going to, um, how, how can she, um, can she, can we help her up and into the, in, uh, on the side? Okay, the I'll, I'll great. We're going to pass, we're going to pass you the microphone here. I'm going to, um, I guess I have my, where's my mask? Uh, my wife's. I was going to sterilize it for you. Okay, all right. Yeah, I used the wrong side of the mask and everything. I'm not very good at the mask thing. But what a wonderful opportunity to have you here and uh, to hear straight from straight from you how you think uh, th things are doing and to reassure everybody that, uh, that on this beautiful spring day that we are, there we go. Thank you very much. That, um, that the city of New Orleans is, is doing okay. <laughs> there we go. I got it that time. Thank you so much. I'll keep my, my mask on. Hey, well, I think this shows that the city of New Orleans is doing okay. Am I right? That's right. I mean, we all know that, uh, you know, this has been incredibly difficult for, for every single one of us. And whether this has impacted you um, because you know someone who's been ill or whether this has impacted you because this is, this is really, you know, hurting your business. It's, it's hurting a lot of us economically. Obviously, it's hurting our musicians, and that's one of the reasons why we're here today. But just know that we're turning that corner. Things are soon to get better, and we will all be back. And eventually, we're all going to be together, being able to hug each other and be able to enjoy the music just like we have been for, for, for so, so long. And so I just thank you all so much for being out here. David, you're just, you're just amazing. And thank you for all you're doing. And please support musicians who are really struggling at this, at this time. You know, our gig economy is really hurting. Don't forget to support those who are in the hospitality industry because right now they have no income coming into them. So there are a lot of wonderful nonprofits who are doing great work who are providing assistance for them. And just remember to support those organizations as well. New Orleans. You absolutely will be back, and this right here is a sign of it. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. David, thank you so much. Thank you so much to both of y'all. Appreciate it so much. Let me sanitize this for you. We got the... Um, They're all right. Disgusting. Yes, I know. I know. So I got it, I got it. Okay, thank you very much, Councilwoman. Thank you, uh, Councilwoman Moreno. Thank you very much for saying hi to everybody. And uh, New Orleans, we are, um, we are very happy that you're that you're hanging out with us, even if it's virtually, wherever you are in the world. And um, uh, we we appreciate your support of the city and our our, uh, our music culture. And it's um, our our honor to do our part to make sure that the community kind of stays stays intact here. I'm going to help David get his his uh, camera camera back together here. All right, okay, and we'll trade places. <laughs> Okay. 
you know, I mean that was that song was so beautiful, but I'm I don't want to break the I don't want to break the I don't want to break the mood. Um, where's my dedication here to my to my friends in uh, Puerto Rico, who had a very special request? And well, actually, we can do this. Uh, we can do this with a little help that I do. I do a bit of a bolero style, a little bit of a fugu style. It's called Kiss the Baby Dream. Let's see if I get this right. Bear with me a second here, everybody. One more time, I just want to let you know that um, NOJC, the New Orleans Jazz Centennial, is going to um, is the way you can um, support this uh, this live stream. NOJ uh, the T H E N O J C N O J C uh, on um, Venmo and PayPal will will be a wonderful way to show your support for not only us, um, but we are we have opted to. Um, uh, do our part to support the efforts of Snug Harbor and their live streaming infrastructure and to make sure that their team um, can keep some of that going and you can catch their Friday night series, the E-Day Live series. And that's, um, that's why you're seeing uh, probably a, a, a payment gateway that you're not used to seeing um, on our other streams. But that's how we're going to do it for, for, for um, I think, uh, for Snug. I think that's what you're going to uh, start seeing, and we're really appreciative that they actually figured out a way to make that happen. Uh, this is a kiss to build a dream on, and this was one of um, this is one of the songs that uh, we associate with the great Louis Armstrong, and it goes out to Evelyn uh, Pacheco in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Let's see. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I, I had so many things I wanted to. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. My chalkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. I think we're. I think we're covered. I <laughs> uh, want to also say love to Mary and Terry Depierfu and their family in Houston. Um, and I don't know. Do you think? Do you think Grandma's watching? Do you think Grandma's watching? Anyway, I'll say hi to Paula out there in um, Florence, Oregon. Mom, if you're out there, happy Mother's Day. And of course, how can I forget, April, happy Mother's Day to you. Thanks for hanging out. Hi, Elena. Hi, buddy. You feeling good? What a surprise. Did you, did, did, did you, did you know this is what we were going to do? It's crazy, isn't it? Look at this. Look at everybody. Everybody's six to ten feet apart from each other. It's awesome, isn't it? Everybody's doing a very good job. I want to thank Dr. John. No, not that Dr. John. This is Dr. John for letting us, um, uh, helping us figure out the Wi-Fi <laughs> and, the, uh, and the electricity. Here we're running across the street, and, um, and we're, having, uh, we're having some fun. And, of course, where's Jacques Ferland? Jacques, where are you? Oh, he's at the very end there? Jacques, we want to thank you very much. This is the NOLA piano truck. What do you think? What do you think of the NOLA piano truck? The NOLA piano truck has been shined up. It's got a spiffy, just spiffy white piano in the back. And uh, we're going to do some um, gorilla-style uh, Mother's Day hits after this. And um, we're going to take the, take, the, take the piano out for a spin, see what it can do. I'm not taking on the highway, but um, we want to thank Jacques for uh, for helping us out because, uh, of course, not very easy for David without one of these. And uh, you may see us around. We're gonna we're gonna create a bunch of stuff for the Nola piano truck, and you'll be able to, I don't know, you'll be able to hire us for 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 weddings, anything anything you want. Any, you know, the, the musicians back in the day, the, you know, they used to have on their business cards, David, their business cards used to say, "Music for all occasions." And now we can we can have one that says music for socially distant occasions. That's what we can do. We can have socially distant occasions for however long this bullshit lasts. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, let's let's cook something, David.
So, um, hey, <laughs> this is fun. We get to play in front of actual people, and I get to tell them about a CD, like a physical CD that they can take home with them, which is the reason we made the thing in the first place. <laughs> we have a, a duo CD that we created in January. We had big plans for it. Everybody had big plans. Didn't we all have big plans? Big plans. Big plans. Big plans. Big plans. Dashed. All our plans, all our hopes, dreams, dashed. Yes. Dogs, too. Um, but this CD is uh, uh, available at Louisiana Music Factory, which brings me to the announcement I want to make, which is this is also a pillar in the, uh, uh, one, of our found, one of our foundations for the music scene here in New Orleans, and that's the Louisiana Music Factory. And thanks to the U.S. Postal Service, you can actually still support them uh, until uh, they can invite you back to Frenchman Street and uh, check out the music of all the uh, of all the New Orleans artists at LouisianaMusicFactory.com. It's very important that we make sure that they uh, that they stay healthy through this period. And a uh, rumor has it that they might actually be starting some virtual in-store performances of their own. So keep an eye on their social pages. And by that, I mean, of course, uh, Facebook and Twitter and maybe a little bit of Instagram. I'm not sure. Uh, and we want to thank Barry and the team out there for, uh, for uh, helping the musicians get rid of some of these CDs. Um, fortunately, I have just enough room in the hallway now. I can get past that one box. It's almost half empty. And I have actually have a few copies here in my, in my backpack. I just don't know really how to do them. I'm tempted to just kind of put them in a pile in the middle of the street and let you guys figure it out, take turns. Make sure that you're not getting too close to each other. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, the duo CD, David Jorkanowski and Evan Christopher, live at Luchin's. Art of the Duo 504 is going to be broadcasting every Sunday on uh, our social media channels. Next week, something very, very special, the celebration of the great Sidney Bechet. You know, we started with Sidney Bechet a little bit earlier. We did his Si Tu Vois, Ma Mère. I think we're going to play one more tune for you here. We're going to do this for Sidney Bechet also. And to remind you that Jazz at Lincoln Center's Dizzy's, uh, the club at um, Jazz at Lincoln Center, is going to be hosting our next uh, live stream. Um, I d it doesn't actually mean anything. We'd, we'd be doing it from the same place we've always been doing it, but maybe we'll change the scenery. I don't know we change the scenery. But you can join us from Jazz at Lincoln Center. 
uh, next week for a celebration of Sidney Bechet, whose birth anniversary falls in mid the middle of May. All right, so I don't know. We can we can either do well, let's do a Bechet. Let's do the Bechet tune. We're going to close with the Bechet tune, or unless we don't have what do we have time for? Uh, we can we can do we can do blues in the air. So this is a tune for. For Cindy Mache called the Blues in the Air. We haven't done a bona fide blues, and I know y'all here get the blues. And uh, and maybe Elena, do you want to do do you want to do an encore? Do you want to do Trees of Green after I get done with this song?
David Torkanowski. My name is Evan Christopher. Wow, so great to play for human beings again. <laughs> no, not that y'all aren't human beings out there, and, and you know, I'm, you know what I meant. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget, it's uh, it's uh, V N O J C at Venmo and PayPal um, because we're supporting um, Snug Harbor and our streaming efforts. Uh, to keep things going at Snug. And don't forget about their regular Friday evenings, the E-Day Live series featuring all your, some of your favorite artists in New Orleans. And uh, don't forget to check out Duo 504 on social channels because we're going to be doing a lot more fun things like this. We want to thank Councilwoman Moreno for the hospitality and allowing us to do this. And you guys have been so good behaving yourselves, most of you. Most of you obeying your social protocol, uh, social distance protocols, and we're very proud of you. Hi, buddy. Do you want to do you want to do one little encore for them? Yeah. You want to do a little trees of green? Okay. What's that, boo boo? Why is there a lot of chords? Well. That's right. <laughs> that wasn't difficult at all, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So. Oops. Sorry. I, I, don't, I don't think I managed to change that before. Hi, this is Elena. And um, she says, why are there so many chords? She's not used to daddy having so many chords. We're going to do a song for you. Just uh, dedicated to all the mothers again. Well, happy Mother's Day, everybody.
I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? What they're really saying is, here we go. I love you. I love you too. I hear babies cry. I watch them. They'll learn much more. What a wonderful world. Oh, yeah. Happy Mother's Day, everybody.